After a video emerged showing the musician comforting his distraught wife, fans have rallied around them. Let's take a closer look. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover how Justin and Hailey Bieber feel about that Selena Gomez chant at the Met Gala. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. The couple made a red carpet debut on the stairs of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City on Monday for the 2021 Met Gala, with the Peaches singer wearing a classic tuxedo and Baldwin wearing a black Saint Laurent gown. However, videos surfacing on social media shortly after their arrival showed members of the audience screaming the name of Bieber's ex-girlfriend, Selena Gomez, whom he dated on and off for several years. Many followers expressed their support for Bieber and Baldwin, who have been married since September 2018, with many criticizing Selenators for being obsessed with the past. While neither Bieber nor Baldwin have spoken out about the event, a video posted to TikTok purported to show the couple's reaction to the taunting, with Bieber telling Baldwin not to cry. The clip started with the lovers walking the steps while shouts of Selena could be heard from the packed throng. According to a fan who goes by the handle at Return of Bizzle, the TikTok then switched to footage from the Met, which appeared to show Bieber saying, Baldwin, I love you, before switching to a clip of the model wiping tears from her eyes. A concerned Bieber can be seen in the video resting his hand on his wife's face and attempting to console her with captions implying that he told her, don't cry, don't cry. After all of the shouting, Justin and Haley spoke with Kiki Palmer for Vogue and appeared to be in good spirits. As I become more of an adult, I think things just start to evolve and change and become more grown up. I think I'm married now, so I think things just become more uh, adult, I guess. Of course, Justin had an on and off again relationship with Selena before and after the first time he dated Haley, saying, we have a good time together. He's just really sweet. He's a good kid. He's a good part and I love him. Baldwin was seen reaching for a pair of dark sunglasses carried by a nearby staffer which she wore for the rest of the night while the couple posed for photographers. The video was captioned, so disrespectful. He loves her so much, which has been viewed over 2.1 million times and has prompted many supporters to defend the couple. That's so sweet of him. Poor Haley. one person commented, when another said, this was so disrespectful, I feel so bad for her. Others highlighted that the bullying was made worse by the fact that it occurred on the couple's third wedding anniversary, which happened to fall on the same day as the prominent fashion event, and that Gomez would not accept the behaviour. This is totally not okay. Selena would not want this at all, one viewer wrote. Ireland Baldwin supported the couple on TikTok, saying in the comment section of one video of the Selena chants that her cousin and Bieber are one of the happiest and most in love couples I've ever gotten the chance to be around. Bieber honoured his wife with a nearer Instagram snapshot of Baldwin, taken on the night of the Met Gala, captioned, This is the woman of my dreams. He restarted his romance with Hayley after breaking up with Selena for good, and the two married in 2018. They've gone through a lot of trial and error as individuals and together, and I think that, you know, that's really what withstands and what holds a relationship, and really proves its worth, and that it's meant to be, you know? And they've proved it, I think. Just check out what she said back in 2018, shortly after the couple got engaged. It was meant to be a long time ago. It was just a long time coming, and we're all like, all right, thank God, let's move forward now, yeah, totally. They're so in love and they really do a lot of good for each other. And that's the most important thing for me, is that he makes her so happy and so connected. Gomez has also attempted to maintain the status quo. She informed fans via social media shortly after the release of her song, Lose You To Love Me, which was generally assumed to be about Bieber. I am so grateful for the response of the song. However, I will never stand for women tearing other women down. So please be kind to everyone. Please be kind. I don't like seeing people being disrespectful or rude to other people. So please don't do that. People, this pair are married. And yelling at them isn't going to make that change. So just stop. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.